Brittany Griner, the WNBA superstar, has been detained by the Russian government since February 17. On Friday, a trial began in a Moscow suburb on the allegation that she was carrying vape cartridges containing cannabis oil when passing through a Moscow area airport. But the word trial hardly captures what is really happening. Russia is not a state governed by rule of law, it is run by a strongman and his clans, including a powerful security service. They have her in their clutches. The State Department has already determined that Ms. Greiner, twice an Olympic gold medalist, has been wrongfully detained. Put simply, Ms. Greiner is a hostage, taken by President Vladimir Putin and his sprawling police state. At the State Department, her case has been shifted to the Office of the Special Presidential Envoy for Hostage Affairs, a section that seeks the release of hostages and others classified as being wrongfully detained abroad. Russian courts rarely acquit the accused, Ms. Griner's trial could drag on for months, or as long as Mr. Putin wishes. He will undoubtedly want to trade her for a Russian incarcerated in the United States, such as convicted arms dealer Victor Bout. This puts the United States in an extremely difficult position. A trade could win freedom for Ms. Griner but would encourage more hostage taking, a refusal to trade would consign her to more agony in a Russian prison. A state based on the rule of law does not seize individuals to use them as bargaining chips. A democracy does not imprison those who speak out. Mr. Putin's regime thrives on such coarse gambits. Witness the unjust prosecution and jailing of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, or political activist and post-opinion contributor Vladimir Karamorza, or Paul Whelan, a U.S. citizen held in prison for what he says is a fictitious charge of espionage. For Mr. Putin, kidnapping a sports icon at an airport or murdering thousands of civilians in Ukraine is all in a day's crude behavior. The Russian leader's repressive security services have for months been sweeping up anyone who protests the war against Ukraine. In recent days, a prominent opposition politician, Ilya Yushin, one of the few remaining voices speaking out against the war, was arrested in a Moscow park, to be held for 15 days on charges of disobeying a police officer.